Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is bodybuilding yet again. And the reason I'm talking about bodybuilding, I was looking at the uh, Dennis James podcast and they had the infamous Dexter Jackson on there, uh, Chris Cormier, uh, Milos, and uh, of course, Dennis James. And Chris Cormier and Dexter Jackson was going back and forth about different things of bodybuilding uh, back in the days and all this kind of stuff. And what struck me was, is that if, if you sit there and listen to people long enough, then they'll tell you the truth about a lot of things. And uh, all of them at some point use uh, synthol. Um, so if these guys can admit to using synthol, you know, when they were at their best, then you could just imagine what the rest of them are doing. And the crazy thing about that is, is that uh, Chris Kamir was said to, to be using synthol in his calf. So was Dexter Jackson. Uh, Milos uh, was uh, said to, you, to be using uh, synthol in his arms. And uh, Dexter Jackson, not Dexter Jackson, but um, um, Dennis James. Dennis James was saying to, uh, I think it was his shoulders that he was using synthol in. And the mere fact that you have all these guys uh, using all these different chemicals in their body, and then they, on top of that, they are injecting themselves with this synthol substance, which is known to really destroy muscles. I think uh, Chris Kamir uh, is having issues from that from back then with his calves as far as it uh, killing the tissues in his calf. So uh, Flex Wheeler, I believe he was doing the exact same thing in different parts of his body. So bodybuilding is like I've always said, professional bodybuilding at least, is like I've always said is, uh, a science experiment. The, all of these guys are experimenting on themselves to do A, B, C, and D. Uh, a lot of them are not uh, able to uh, develop the physiques, even on drugs, as you can see, because that's the whole purpose of using the synthol. So it's, an, it's, it's a science experiment, you know, uh, and for you as natural people to look at them and then hold yourself to the same standards as somebody who's using thousands of dollars of uh, drugs and uh, injecting themselves with A, B, C, and D. And, you, and you're looking at yourself and you're comparing yourself against them and you're feeling like you are inadequate. And the sad part about it is, is that they also feel inadequate with all the things that they are using on their bodies and in their bodies. So, <laughs> Uh, again, natural is always the way to go for longevity. No matter how much drugs you take, no matter how much muscle you uh, develop, none of that muscle that's created off enhancements you will ever keep. All of these guys that I've just mentioned, none of them has kept anything that they have uh, developed from drugs. None of them. Uh, Dennis James is one of those that's still uh, using something uh, because he's a, he's a little bit uh, better than the uh, average when you look at his arms, chest, and uh, shoulders and stuff like that. Uh, I think he's still using a little bit more um, of something to keep him to keep his body up. But all of them, at some point, well. Once they've used the drugs for so many years, all of them are going to have to be on TRT. And I think most of them that look like him uh, is using a little bit more than they should be using. But anyway, uh, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. You know, uh, looking at uh, idolizing these guys like they are something above you being natural. 
that's something you shouldn't have to worry about. That's something you shouldn't worry about at all. Simply because everything that you develop and make is yours. And years to come, as long as you don't stop eating or something like that, or you don't get catastrophically sick or something, you're going to always hold on to something. That's just being natural. Natural people don't lose what they make easily. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.